today we figure out if open and closed bag guitar cabs sound any different. Hey everyone, Chris here. And my name is Guillaume. Hope you're having a beautiful day today. Welcome to Thomas Guitars and Basses and to this incredibly scientifically accurate video where we are joined by Francis. Francis. Ja Giacomo. Slash Fran Giacomo. Depending on who calls him. Um, <laughs> Which is our Neumann head mic. It's a, a very... It's got a ghost in it. Fine piece of gear <laughs> that's going to help us give you some very Answers. realistic room sound in today's video, which is going to be relevant later on. Yes, and we're giving we you answers because today's experiment is uh, trying to determine what kind of a difference is the open bag versus closed bag cabinet uh, is going to make. Uh, what, is it just going to be a frequency thing? Is it going to be like a very drastic difference? Is there going to be any advantages, whether in the room or in terms of close miking? And very fortunately for us, we have the brand new Harley Benton 212 cabinet right here. This is the version with a V30 on one side and a cream back 65 on the other. And this cab has the option of removing or leaving uh, the tiers in the back. So you can, you can have it basically close back or remove uh, either one or two tiers in the back. So you can have it open back. And now uh, we're gonna start with close miking. Yes. So this is gonna be around uh, where you'll you see it on screen, of course, which is the close back and which is the open back uh, take. And those two Neumann mics right in front of the speakers are gonna be active. Francis is still chilling. Chilling. It's not on. I think, we, I think we should wait. We should wait for the uh, the initial reactions. Yes. I'm going to do the exact same thing, but with a poorer playing and gain. Uh, because I do believe that the gain structure and the type of overdrive you're going to put in it is going to make more of a difference with the uh, open and closed situation. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll Clo see. Close miking, first off, close back, and then open back. Yes. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be okay. fully honest with you. Yes. I was expecting a bit more of a difference. Really? Yeah. Okay. I heard I heard a difference. Yeah. Okay. I heard a difference. Um, I think I have a preference, but it's gonna depend on what kind of playing I'm going for. But I thought it'd be more drastic, like it'd do something more to the low end. I was expecting the difference in mid-range, like that yeah. I'm familiar with. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I was I was expecting more. Okay. And it might sound complete. Again, we only have that. We only have the Francis point of view. We don't have the close mic Which point of view. Which is something you guys didn't hear yet. So let's let's hear the Neumann head yeah. comparison round. See how see how we hear it because. I have a feeling that this is going to be more drastic for them. I'm not sure. We'll see. And you guys let us know in the comments, because I think that Francis will tell us more than the close mics did. Really? I think. Okay. Let's do the second round and let's uh, talk about it. Okay.
Honestly, I always like open cabs, open back cabs more in the room. For recording, depends on the style, honestly. Yeah. If you want a tight low end and a more pushy sound, close back is just killer, of course. Uh, I like the, the airiness of an open back or a, a half open, semi open back cab. So for this cab, you can remove two portions of the yeah, back side. Yeah, yeah. I would probably put back the lower one and just yeah. leave it open in the middle. So the, the first part we removed, uh, because that's probably somewhere in between. Still maintains some of yeah. the, yeah, the yeah. tightness, but gives some some sweetness to it or airiness, whatever the verb is you want to... That's it. And I, I was going to say, like, this is probably, like, as much as I, I heard a difference, I thought it would be a more important difference, but I also think that it's because everything that I use personally, all of my combos at home, because even when I use the heads, uh, I use the speaker from the combos because I don't have like ah, a dedicated yet. cab yet. Uh, and, um, and that's open, right? Or and they're open. all partially open, partially open yeah. but very partially. Like my, my two rock cab has like a circle okay. cut out sort of in the middle. My 410 um, Fender, same, it's just partially open. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, I guess, no, but I, I, I feel the same. Like, I prefer the sound of the open back. Yeah. Uh, I'm really curious to listen to the close miking. Yeah, And see what kind, of a, what kind of a difference that makes on that. Because, yeah, yeah. yeah, I feel like maybe to take off the edge of a speaker that's a little too... Direct. You know, in yeah. your face yeah. type of thing. Like, this could be a good mod. Um, yeah, it's so cool. I think that was interesting, though. I, and I, yeah. I wanna, I wanna see what you guys uh, yes, heard. Obviously. See what you guys heard. That I wanna is see a what you guys heard in the comments. <laughs> I wanna read what, what you guys you... heard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly that. So uh, meet you down there in the comments. Let us know uh, what your impression was. If you preferred one, if you like both, if you yep. thought they just sounded the exactly same. the same. Yeah, which is an option. We, we didn't hear the recordings yet. It's possible, yeah. But do that, please, while you're down there, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on the 17 videos we put out every week. Every day. Every day. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.